Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 17 on page 400. If alpha, beta, and gamma represent the direction angles for the vectors OP, prove that sine squared alpha plus sine squared beta plus sine squared gamma equals 2. Step 1. When you think about alpha, beta, and gamma, those are the angles with respect to the x, y, and z axis respectively. So you can start with the fact that cosine square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma equals to 1. So you're stating the fact that the directional cosines all add up to 1. And again, this is true because if you go back to the basic definition of uh, cosine alpha, cosine alpha, it's a divided by the square root of a square plus b square plus c square. And uh, likewise, if we think about cosine beta, same idea, that's going to be b divided by the square root of a square plus b square plus c square. And if we think about cosine gamma, that equals to c divided by the square root of a square plus b square plus c square. So what happens is when you square them and you add them up, the top will give you a square plus b square plus c square all over a square plus b square plus c square, which equals to 1. Once you write down the first step, step 2 is to remember that from grade 11 math, that sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. And can we express cosine in terms of sine? That is cosine square x equals to 1 minus sine square x. So when we go back, take this idea and plug it into each case. So cos square alpha becomes 1 minus sine square alpha. Cos square beta becomes 1 minus sine square beta cos square gamma equals to 1 minus sine square gamma and you can copy the right hand side which equals to 1. Now begin with the end in mind. Your goal is to show that sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma equals to 2. So I'm going to bring all the numbers to the left hand side and bring all the sine square alpha beta gamma to the right hand side. So. On the left hand side, if you collect like terms, this is going to be 1, 1, and 1. That's going to give you 3. But you're bringing the 1 from the right to the left. So it's going to be 3 minus 1, which would give you 2. If you bring all the sine square alpha, beta, gamma to the right, negative becomes positive. So this becomes sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine squared gamma, and of course you can rewrite this in the reverse order. So sine squared alpha plus sine squared beta plus sine squared gamma equals to 2. I hope this makes sense.